Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another Red Dragon keyboard. They keep coming out with some interesting units and I gotta say I've I've gone from being Red Dragon meh to ooh, new Red Dragon board. What they have been putting out lately is pretty good, especially for the price. So today we're taking a look at the uh, Demos, Dimos. I don't see the actual model number. They usually have a K. Oh, it's K599. K599. It's a 65, 70%, well, somewhere 68%, maybe. Um, three mode with Chroma RGB. Let's dive into it and find out. All right, so here we have the box. As you can see, see, I guess that would be a 65% with the um, arrow keys actually shifted over this column over here but it's almost a 70 percent except for one key it says it has 70 keys so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got we have a USB A to USB C cable standard rubberized cable we have both a keycap puller and a switch puller and it looks like we have some extra red dust proof switches and here we have the Deimos K559 as well as the manual. <clears throat> so taking a look at it, we have your standard Red Dragon type board. We have the ABS uh, double shot shine through key caps, um, OEM profile, and we have this um, interesting, uh, it's not really a blocker, but the way they've laid this out, they've basically taken the TKL cluster and flipped it on its side, except they put the page up and page down that would have been over here, down here. We don't have all the print screen, screen lock and pause, but they're over here underneath functions. Um, we have a standard looking plastic case. And we have a pocket for the 2.4 gigahertz dongle right here. It has a magnetic stop. We have the connector as well as the switch on the side of the keyboard along with an indicator. So let's go ahead and turn it on. This may not be a three mode. All right, this appears to be only 2.4 gigahertz from what I can see. So I'm turning it on. Nothing is happening. All right, so let's try plugging it in. All right, there we've got some light. On. Maybe the battery's just discharged. All right, so taking a look, obviously we have the um, the functions, brightness. These may be macros: one, two, three, four, five, six. Print screen, scroll, lock, pause. Brightness on this is not very high. I mean, I am hardly able to tell that the light is even on. Yeah, that's a pretty dim light. You can actually see the individual RGBs. Any RGB is obviously made up of three individual LEDs, a red, a green, and a blue. I'm uh, not too um, impressed. Usually a red dragon. I mean, I'm of the opinion if you're going to have RGB, Bring the RGB. If not, then don't have it. I can go either way, but weak RGB like this, I can't. Now, this also does appear to be one of the older boards, which we can tell by taking a look the fact that it has Otemu hot swap sockets. It has, and it does not appear to have any plate or PCB foam or any case foam. Hmm. Uh, this is not looking good so far. Granted, like I said, I could take these and lube them up, and it might help a little bit, but the fact that there is no dampening inside of the case 
board between the plate and the PCB, and we are dealing with a, um, a steel plate here. Yeah. There's, I mean, the, the switches, let's go ahead and just do one. This is all I'm doing for switches nowadays. I uh, lube the leaf spring, and I donut, donut dip the uh, spring. That's all that I do, and I feel that's all that's necessary. I'm gonna put it in my switch breaking machine. That makes a big difference in the switch. But as you can hear, see, just pressing it in, there was, there was a ping because it's the plate. Yeah, I can't say that um, I actually liked how it looked, but now that I've gotten into it, I'm like, hmm, meh. I'm trying to see about the light controls. All right, so there are, yeah. That's the brightness. Low brightness is nothing, but there's barely any change. I honestly can't, I can't see any of the lights. Are they even on? See, it's supposed to set individual colors, but... I really all right there's one now all right there we go there's individual color I can hardly see the lights I mean I purposely make it bright but not too bright in here and most of the times I can see the color I can tell if the light is on or off but the the weakness here is just horrendous but I want to see if and plug it now and turn it on. I've got no light. I don't know if that's supposed to be caps lock or it says battery, but there we go. So it has to actually be connected for the lights to work. I guess that's a battery saving feature. All right, so that does work. I was kind of kind of concerned there for a minute that we weren't going to have any wireless functionality but we do um, why it's only uh, a 2.4 I'm not sure well, I guess that way you're not gonna waste battery power if it's not connected to something so I mean the one issue that I'm gonna have with this that even if I do go in there and modify it there's only gonna be a certain number of switches that are gonna fit uh, because of the Millimax style they're too skinny for some of the um, even even Gatorons. You're gonna see see how that that leg right there is like crimped and makes it like a spade almost. That is too wide to fit into those Milmax sockets. Now there are different things that you can do, but you have to go through each and every single switch to modify it to get it in there. And honestly, there's there's not many keyboards I can think that it's worth that amount of time to spend modifying uh, an entire set of 70 switches just to um, get a board like this working. So, I have been happy for the most part with what Red Dragon has been putting out. This possibly could be um, older stock. I don't know. They did send this out to me uh, for a review. They actually... They sent me a box with like six different keyboards, so I don't know if they're like moving. Because they're like, hey, can we send you some keyboards for review? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I get a box and it's full. I got five different keyboards. And I'm like, and none of these I'd heard of before, so I thought this one was new. I don't believe I've seen this one before. But yeah, oh, okay, dual mode. So yeah, it is only wired and um, USB 2.4 or 2.4 gigahertz. Um, I honestly prefer. Bluetooth myself I have um, especially Bluetooth 5 I usually have a limited amount of ports and the fact that you need an individual dongle for each and every device is just it's too much plus the 2.4 gigahertz range in most urban and suburban environments is completely crowded so um, I've experienced a lot of um, connection interference and loss with 2.4 so 
as I'm not a gamer, it's not that important to me, but when I'm working and programming, I mean, one keystroke missed or delayed can screw up my entire flow. So, now, this functions as a control, but also as, I guess, the menu item if you deal with function. Well, I don't know what else much to say about this. Let's get technical. Today, we're taking a look at the Red Dragon K599 Demos. A 65% 70 key, 2 mode, 2.4 gigahertz and USB, 65% keyboard from Red Dragon. It does have PBT double shot shine through keys with laser edge sub legends. It comes with unlubed Red Dragon red dust proof switches. There is absolutely no dampening, whether plate or PCB or in the case. It does employ three pin Otemu hot swap socket, so there's a very limited selection of switches to choose from. The keyboard comes weighing in at 663 grams with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 19.5 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 25.5 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Using the single pair of included feet, you raise the back up to 33 millimeters, providing for a typing angle of 11 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $59.99. All right, so today we took a look at the Red Dragon K559 Demos. It is a 65% 70 key, interesting layout that has USB and 2.4 gigahertz connectivity. That's it, no Bluetooth. Um, Unfortunately, it has no case or PCB dampening, leaving it um, quite hollow. And since the switches that are Red Dragon Reds that, unfortunately, the PCB only has Otemu hot swap sockets, which limits your ability for switches, it just leaves a very, it's super loud opinion. I, um, I've got to assume that this is one of their older units that they're moving stock out of perhaps because I, I i do like the layout so i'm hoping that perhaps they're going to upgrade this and give us something with some dampening with a five pin hot swap compatibility and perhaps some better rgbs because those rgbs are not doing this keyboard any um favors now i did originally think that um and i still want to say if i if these keys were handed to me. I'd say ABS. They are listed as PBT keycaps. And I just, um, I don't know. They don't feel like PBT keycaps to me. That That's what I got to say. Anyway, um, I do like the layout though. So it kind of, kind of irks me that, that it wasn't a little better in other respects because I, I would take this layout and, um, I, I could probably get by and use it. Um, though this keyboard does not have any ability to do any remapping or rebinding. So if you don't like what it's been mapped to here, like you don't like print screen, scroll lock and pause, you cannot reprogram this keyboard. So I'd like to say more nice things about it, but that's about it. I mean, I, I like the layout and I wish that it was programmable and I wish that it had... Actually, I got too too long of a wish list. I probably just need another keyboard. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the K559 or 599, 599 uh, Deimos from Red Dragon. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Please share your comments down below. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.